What's up, YTPC? This is DSG Pipe Smoker with another pipe smoking video. Finishing off a bowl of vintage Syrian in my Mario Grande olive wood. And today, I'm doing a Yabo. A Yabo that was sent to me from Amy of Pipe Pitfalls and Pret Falls. Or as I still call her, Amy Mack from her old channel. Her old channel name, I should say. She sent me this Yabo around the same time that I sent her the Law Brum Use, which you should go check out that Yabo um, that she did. So, it was very generous of her to send me this Yabo. Hold on, I need to find my tamper. We seem to lose it when I make videos. Anyway, it was very generous of her to send me this Yabo. She didn't really have to do it. Um, but she did it anyways, because that's just the kind of person that she is. Um, and I'm very, very grateful for it. So, before I show you what she sent me, I'm going to say this ahead of time. Thank you, Amy Mack. This was awesome and very generous of you. I'm very appreciative. Um, I won't spoil too much before I show you guys, but I'll definitely be using some of the stuff that you sent me. Very excited to, um, I'll, I'll save it for the reveal. But anyway, I sent her some Labra Muse from CCN, I think is how it's pronounced. It's a made in Belgium burly tobacco that smokes a lot like a cigar leaf blend. And I thought she would enjoy it. Not just because of the blend in general, but because she was also doing a, um, a series of burly tobaccos in the form of reviews. So, again, that's why I sent it to her. And, like I said, she sent me this Yabo around the same time that I sent out my package to her. And she sent me some, some really cool tobacco that I've been curious about trying, and uh, she sent me something else too. So without further ado, let me show you what she got me. She got me Peterson University Flake. Quick tin description here. An easy smoking blend. Dump some of the ash out of my pipe. An easy smoking blend of fine Virginia and burley tobaccos made the traditional way. So I'm excited to try this. I've seen some reviews on it, and from what I could tell, it's basically the lighter, more Virginia-forward version of Irish Flake by Peterson. Pipe's almost out. Anyway, let me show you what else she sent me. And again, she didn't have to do this. This was very, very generous of her. And I'm very, very grateful. It did not come with a pipe sock, so there won't be a dramatic, um, a dramatic showing. But this is what she sent me. This is a no-name, looks like a basket pipe, bulldog with a combination smooth and rustication rusticated finish just a little bit of oxidation on there but nothing i nothing i can't clean up and a very very nice 
slightly charred, definitely been smoked, but, you know, very clean bowl. So, again, thank you, Amy. I really appreciate it. I'm definitely going to get some use out of this. It has a really cool little, um, if I hold it level, you can kind of see there's a little bit of a cant to it. And it's nice and short, too. Um, here's a standard pipe cleaner for comparison. So, very cool. Thank you, Amy. I really appreciate it. I can't wait to get it cleaned up and uh, smoke it, which should happen here pretty soon. Anyway, I figured I'd make that or make this video relatively short. Um, Amy Mack is a really cool person. You guys should check her out if you haven't already. And check out her reviews too. She does a really good job of putting out reviews and kind of explaining tobaccos. With that being said, I'm going to smoke this vintage Syrian down to the heel. Something I don't normally do with a lot with tobaccos, but vintage Syrian is kind of the exception, or one of the few exceptions. And with that being said, this has been DSG Pipe Smoker with another pipe smoking video. You guys have a good day.